Hey everyone, today I want to go over some of the exterior add-ons and accessories I did for my Raptor. Uh, really nothing too crazy, just some pretty basic accessories that a lot of owners will do. I will post in the description below the links to all these various accessories if you want to pick these up for your truck. Uh, by far, the probably the most common accessory I did that most owners do is a truck bed cover. Now, I went with a hard cover because I like the way this looks. It sits flat with the body of the truck so it doesn't stick up at all. Uh, this is made by Undercover. This is their new Armor Flex cover. Now, what's nice about this cover that not a lot of uh, other truck bed covers do is this is covered with a spray-on truck bed coating, so it's very resistant to scratches and any sort of damage. Basically, the same spray-on coating that most trucks are going to have in the bed. One of the big problems with these hard covers was they were very susceptible to getting scratches on them over time, and they really looked deteriorated after a while. So this will not be affected by that, having that coating on there. So you just basically just pull the string and it releases the cover. Uh, comes up in three sections, very easy to, to uh, install, very easy to flip it up yourself if you're alone. So when it comes up in three sections, what also makes this cover a lot better is this cover does not rest against the, uh, the rear of the cab. Now some of these hard covers do that and a lot of owners obviously don't want that because if you have it bed up for a while, the cover up for a while, it will potentially put rub marks in there. This has a little strut on here that rests on the side when you're not using it. So you just push this on like that, and this will hold it up. You have one on the other side as well for when you are actually using it in the up position. As you can see, it leaves a nice gap there. It does block the back window, but at least it doesn't rub the cab. So it's definitely much better than some of the ones that actually do that. So basically just have to push it down and to lock it in. and it's very easy to re-secure. Now what's also nice about this cover is it works if you have an F-150 with the tailgate step, it works with the tailgate step with no problem. So right now it's in its uh, fully locked position. And what's also nice about this is that some other covers don't do is if you have an electric tailgate release, it will still work. So if you wanna release it from either the back of the truck or from the remote, the tailgate release will still open without an issue. So some covers it won't work, but this cover it does. Uh, next, next accessory I did was some mud flaps. Uh, these are WeatherTech. Uh, WeatherTech makes four, makes two different sets of these, uh, these mud flaps. They make a four piece set and a uh, six piece set. Now this is obviously the four piece set, one for each wheel. And the six-piece set basically has, has what's called a mid-flap, where it basically goes under the middle of the running board. So with this, I think this is a much cleaner look. It looks kind of odd having a, a mud flap in the middle of the running board. Um, but they, these are black instead of being gray, so they match the tires well, and they really blend in well. You don't really even notice them once they're installed. Real easy install. Only took a few minutes to do it in the garage with some basic hand tools and I'm very happy with them. Uh, next accessory I did was a set of rear wheel well liners. Now the Raptors, like all Ford trucks, come with front wheel well liners. So it gives it a nice uniform black look and it sort of hides everything uh, in the wheel well. Problem with the Raptors is, unlike the regular F-150s, which you can get the rear wheel well liners as either a factory option or an accessory from Ford, Ford does not make any rear wheel wheel well liners for the Raptors at all. These are from Husky. They're the only company that actually make a rear wheel well liner for this truck. So I think it really cleans up the look of the truck because if you have any other color than black, it's really obvious uh, how much different it looks in the front. You'll have the top will be the uh, body color from the bed and the bottom you'll see all the, uh, the frame rails and everything exposed. However, with this, it gives it a nice clean look, same as the front does and the suspension, you can still see it and access it if need be and it gives it that nice uniform black look just like the front does. They're really nice and secure. They don't move around at all. Um, relatively easy install. You do have to kind of wrestle with it a little bit to get it in. It's a little bit easier if you do it with two people, uh, but not too bad uh, of a job to put it in. It only took me about half hour or so per side to get them in. And if you put them out in the sun just to warm them up a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, next thing I did was I put some window tint on the side windows to match the rear and uh, rear side windows. Uh, this is uh, Expel Prime ceramic window tint. Uh, what's nice about this is this blocks the majority of ultraviolet light. So if you have sensitive skin, 
Uh, that's something that's uh, really good to have as well as this will also keep the interior from getting faded. So this is definitely a lot better than your standard window tint. These ceramic tins are starting to become very popular. And I think it also gave the truck a nice uniform look with the back windows. And finally, the last thing I did was a front license plate relocation bracket. Now from the factory, Ford gives you a license plate bracket to go right in the center. The problem with that is it blocks the intercooler. So Ford even recommends that if you're gonna be off-roading the truck, you take the license plate off anyway. So rather than having to deal with all that and having to block the intercooler all the time, uh, I got this relocation bracket. This is from Swarfworks. Now what's nice about this bracket is even if you have a higher level spec truck where it has um, adaptive cruise control or anything like that, these this will not interfere with any of those electronics if you mount it on the passenger side. So it just mounts to the tow hook on the bottom and it's nice and out of the way. It leaves a nice enough gap where it's never going to come in contact with the bumper but it's nice and secure. It's very sturdy and it's made out of aluminum so it will never rot or rust or deteriorate over time if you have it on there for a long period of time. And I think this is definitely well worth it if you don't want to have your intercooler blocked. And it's a really good permanent solution. And then finally, I put a set of these uh, Ford Racing stainless steel license plate frames on there. So as you can see, nothing really crazy, relatively uh, basic and common add-ons I did to the truck. But I think it really uh, cleaned up the look. And uh, some of these items are very functional as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.